Hello again, this is Azac C2 and today I'm going to talk about the radical career switch made by former teacher Chanel Yui. Miss Yui is a, a teacher from a high school in Singapore and she had been on a job for 8 years before she decided to, to go full time as a content creator on the OnlyFans platform. As you all know, OnlyFans is a is a platform used by many people to sell adult content. Among them was Titus Lau, who got caught selling pictures of his male member on the on said platform and sentenced to prison. Chanel Yui came from. A lower middle class family and when when she was growing up it was her teachers who provided her with, with the most guidance that her parents weren't able to, to provide as such she wanted to be like them and she started to be a teacher and she she was doing it for eight years However, she was subjected to backstabbing by toxic colleagues. They would often tell on her if she was seen you know, letting her hair down outside office hours. Like having a drink with friends or attending a concert by her favourite singer. I mean, this shouldn't affect her performance on the job. By right. I mean, I, I, I had classmates who mentioned that they saw one of their teachers clubbing, only to be told off by another teacher that, you know, that the teaching staff were humans too, and they needed to let their hair down every once in a while, and that as students, <laughs> they shouldn't be spending time in such establishments. Miss Yui claimed <laughs> that she was told that, that her bra strap was showing and that uh, her pink eyeliner was distracting and that uh, she looked like she might be in a party rather than in a workplace. I mean, well, like a long sleeve knee length black dress is pretty conservative. And as for eyeliner, well, who cares? You know, like uh, who who cares about the, the, the eyeliner color as long as it's not too dark? I mean, well, it's just the you know, little people trying to make life difficult for others because. They have nothing, <laughs> nothing useful whatsoever. So they must make everybody else around them look bad. And unfortunately, the world is full of them. The human population is shallow as a whole. And they, they're likely to believe everything that's being said because they stand for nothing. All this, along with Miss Yui's mother's illness, caused her to spiral into depression and she had to be treated at the Institute of Mental Health. After she left the teaching profession and went full-time modeling for OnlyFans, she says her mental health has improved. In the past, she had done a, a number of photo shoots but they're all of a pretty conservative nature. Now, she, she found the time to engage in cosplay, photo shoots, as well as to, to take on a riskier side of things. 
only fans allow her to show more, show the, the naughty side of her. But it's, well, <laughs> it's nothing too extreme. Yes, <laughs> the students who once drool over her, they, they, they can look at her photos and videos if they pay the right price. Not sure if, you know, they'll get their money's worth though. From what I understand, there's nothing. <laughs> Nothing interesting that 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 they can see, unlike for some people. And I'm not talking about Titus Lau. I'm talking about about others who who sh who show all their skin, who bear all. I mean, those those who used to secretly pick up her dress <laughs> might be tempted to 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 join her page a, as subscribers, but I can't guarantee that they'll be satisfied. I mean, I'm happy that Miss Wee has found something that she actually enjoys, but but I'm also aware that f uh, that no. For every person like her who made it, there are millions who are left behind because they are simply not good enough. They will be trapped forever working for survival. Unable to dig themselves out of the hole that society has pushed them inside. Instead of you know, ridiculing or condemning Miss Yu, we should be congratulating her and feeling happy for her. She no longer needs antidepressants, which is a good thing since these, some of these medications are very dodgy and they, they are believed to be bad for the heart. Maybe even worse than the Fauci Auchi. I mean, well, <laughs> what Miss Yu did is nothing new. I've seen differently abled people on on adult based subscription platforms. I mean, it doesn't matter if they no longer have the use of their legs, you know, and and they they spending their whole life sitting down because <laughs> because it just makes it easier for their fans to see their butterfly wings. I'm the the thing is that to to be able to be able to sell risky content on a subscription platform <laughs> you need you need to have the right assets you must have what people want to see i have none of it
I guess it's no point feeling jealous of people like Miss Yui. <laughs> I mean, well, cause she's gifted in that particular department. Maybe, maybe I should just stick to blaming myself for being stupid. Such is life, I guess. On that note, I'm saying goodbye. Until the next video.